Go Dodgers. Go Doyers. Viva la Doyers. Orale, vatos. Let's go Dodgers. Go Dodgers. Orale. Not really. Go Padres. No. San Diego. Way better city. Just. Hey, welcome back to our stupid Axel Corbin. Yet he lives in Los Angeles. Well, the work's here, Rick. <laughs> if I had the choice, why I Why do would... you hate yourself so much? No, oh, me and my personality. <laughs> <laughs> you can follow us on Instagram and Twitter for juicy content! Uh, today, we got the trailer finally dropped for All We Imagine is Light. Believe it or not. Obviously, I know it's not a big anticipated trailer for, like, the masses. But, it is for me. Uh, they finally released an actual trailer for the film that should have been the nomination. I mean, I can't see that yet. Obviously. You haven't seen it yet. That's true. I, I Just like us talking bad about Joker. We haven't seen it yet. That's true. I actually had a stupid baby encourage me to go see it. I've actually had quite a few people. I'm, I'm telling you. I'm tempted. My guess, and this is just an educated guess, people had such high expectations. And it's so different and a musical. And a lot of people right. aren't big fans of musicals. Yeah. Um, I, and, uh, and I am. So. And so I think people are just weirded out. And I think it's more of just it's so not up to their expectations, not as opposed to it being a shit movie. I, have a, I, I could be yeah, wrong. I have a feeling a lot of people don't pay attention. They knew there was a Joker sequel. And they went in blind thinking it was going to be a sequel to the Joker film. And they were going to get something. But, and they didn't even know it was a musical. I do know people that knew it was a musical and liked musicals and they didn't like it. And they didn't like it. Yeah, so. Well, 99 out of 100 people right now hate the yeah, film. Yeah, so. yeah. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Anyways, but uh, awesome. I think everybody I know that has seen this has loved it. So. Yeah. Uh, now, this is about beer, right? Yes. It's about light beer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Coors Light. Right. Coors Light. All we All imagine is light. Coors Light. Here we go. I have a theory. <laughs> um, my ears is probably the same as mine. I have a feeling, and this is just off the trailer. I hadn't seen anything of it outside of this now. I think it was too risque for the whatever board that chooses. And that's why they said it didn't feel like an Indian film. That's just a guess. I'll have to wait to see it uh, to actually make that assumption. But um, it looks great. Uh, <laughs> it looks like something that the Oscars would love. What a shock. I haven't seen it yet, obviously. I'm, we're, we're talking as we've, we've seen it. I get that. Um, but that that's my guess right now, right? Yeah. You saw 
possibly a sex scene in there. Yeah. You saw some woman empowerment. Not that there's not woman empowerment in Indy Cinema. That's not what I'm saying at all. There's definitely but it's, women. No, it's different. Um, it's different. Yeah. Um, it hit, it, it hits like, different. Especially if there's nudity. I don't know if there is. Um, it, uh, that, that would be my guess as to why they didn't send it now, seeing mm-hmm. a trailer. Yeah. Uh, right? And so, do you get that same vibe? A hundred percent. I agree with you. Yes, I get that vibe. It's just a guess. Um, <laughs> just a guess. I haven't seen it. So you, if you've seen it, let me know if you, if you think that maybe that's a, that's a reason. We'll see it when it comes oh, out. Oh, I can't wait to see it. I was yeah. just this morning thinking about this film while I was getting ready to come over and thinking about when when can we see this? Are we, are we gonna, will we be able to get a screener? No. I'm, I'm assuming we're going to get um, I talked to the uh, some release. I talked to the creators. Um, they're not giving out screeners. Oh, so but it's coming here. It's it, okay. It, so so we'll it, get it in November. Yeah, whenever okay. it comes to theaters, it, it's it's coming to the United States. It's okay, a big distribution. Great. Um, hopefully it's great, and hopefully it's amazing, and then hopefully it's like so good that they put in like Best Picture. Obviously, that's, that's still a possibility. Yeah, it just, it would need to be like so amazing and have like a big kind of like um, take on a, a big identity of its own here. Um, it's a harder for a foreign film to get, a, but it's happened much, much more recently. It has, uh, but still a very tall task <laughs> for that it to is. happen. It's a very it's tall task. The easiest way for a foreign film to get into the Oscars is to get in with, uh, their country submitting themselves. Correct. Correct. Um, so, uh, but everything about, I mean, it's the, the actress from Briani. Mm-hmm. She's a fantastic actress. Yep. Um, and everything about it was, looked like it was super, super. Why can't I say this word? Superlative? Superlative. <laughs> yeah, superlative. Uh, right? Yeah, it does. I mean, uh, as far as the trailer is what I expected. I expected it to look like something that when we see it, our immediate thought is, I want to see that. That looks like it's fantastic. Yeah. That looks like it's as fantastic as everybody's been saying it is. I can't imagine it's not. Yeah. When you have the kinds of voices giving it the superlatives the way that they're giving it, just just in the trailer there, the way they're describing it from some of the most reputable voices in, in cinematic critique, I, I, I don't think... <laughs> I have a pretty strong feeling when we see it, taking nothing away from La Pata Ladies, because La Pata Ladies is a wonderful movie. I am pretty confident when we see the film, we're going to agree with the majority of the people at Cannes and the critic voices that you just saw there that it is going to be a superlative one of the best films of the year from any country. Yeah. Um, will not, hopefully. Will not surprise me. Hopefully. You know, um, we could be shocked. It could be. Yeah. We'd be like, ooh. Yeah, we'll be honest. Yeah, well, definitely. I, you know what would nope. be kind of cool? <laughs> It'd be kind of cool to see it and go, hey, they got it right. <laughs> they got it right. Lapita Ladies would was a good joy. I mean, it, it still is. It still, it is, still a is a good choice, choice, but... It would probably be third on my list. What I don't want to have happen, I really don't. I don't want to see this and be mad. Yeah, I'm like, at really at how did you how did you you know what I mean? Two years, RRR, and then this year, and and a, and a film that looks like it's Oscar type. RRR was not Oscar type, <laughs> correct? But it would have easily got nominated easily. Um, yeah, it's uh, yeah, they kind of put themselves in a tough position there with. <laughs> Not choosing the shoe in film. Uh, I uh, I think they need to uh, maybe rework how they pick films. Oh yeah, they've needed to they've needed to rework that for but a long time. They, they need to rework the people that are involved in the decision making. Yeah, they think... need to rework why they make the decisions they make. Yeah. Um, there's a, but that's not the only thing. We obviously, for, uh, that we... needs to change. And what did we forget? Uh, when because when we were talking about the Oscars, we were telling about the ones that were. Um, I think we missed Pebbles because Pebbles went. It did. It was the year that Triple R went. Okay, was, there was yeah. another one. There was another oh, no, one no, no, no. Missed. Sorry. No, 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 no. That was the Cinema That Bondi. was the Cinema Bondi, right? Wait, is that what it was called? The one about the cinema. Yeah, the one that was very reminiscent to the Italian film I love so much. Which is great. Um, it was a great movie. Um, really great movie. Yes, but Pe- Pebbles is obviously the same maker as Adamant Girl. Yeah. Yeah, which, which that why, was another one. That would have been my second choice. Like, it, uh, obviously, without seeing it, this would have been my first choice just because what I've what I've heard about it. But the ones I've seen, Adam and Girl was my first choice. Me too. La Pata Ladies would be my second choice. Me the, too. Me too. Of the films I've seen, so I don't think taking it's a bad nothing choice. again. There's going to be some years 
three or four, hopefully, choices that you would say, okay, here are my top four, and say the, 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 the Film Federation picks our fourth choice. We'll be happy for it because it is one of the ones we would have selected. Yeah. It may not have been our first choice, but I agree with you. I, I, and I have, a, I have a feeling that what you said mm. has a huge part to do with it. Yeah. Um, no, just because of what I heard him say, and like, it didn't feel like an Indian film. I'm like, what? That yeah. looked Indian to me. Well, <laughs> it did. And it, it also, um, I have a feeling maybe a different incarnation of the terrible statement that was made about Indian women being an, a, a oh, mixture yeah. of submission yeah. and, 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 you know. Not great. Right. I, yeah, unfortunately. But I'm looking forward to seeing it. Me too. As it's a said, really nice trailer. I think it comes out in like November, right? Yeah, I don't. I think I have the release date on my list here. Let me see. Um, all we imagine is light. It just said coming soon on the. It trailer. did. I didn't write it down, but I remember oh, reading. Now here, November fifteenth. Yeah, I, I knew it was November, yes. and I thought it was mid to early, so that makes sense. So uh, we should get it here. In I want to see it on day one. Um, I just it looks like a really good film. Yeah, so. it does. If you've seen it, let us know what you think about it and uh, in your opinions on it and anything else we need to know down below. Josh!